and welcome back to another episode of Cocktails with Kira. My name is Kira, and I'm a whiskey loving Irish gal who's on a cocktail voyage of discovery. I have zero professional bar experience other than a passion for making mixed drinks at home and showing you how I do it. So hit that subscribe button, stick around, and we both just might learn something because if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> So in today's video, we are going to be making one of the most classic Irish drinks out there. We are going to be making an Irish coffee. So aside from a beautiful pint of Guinness, a classic Irish coffee is probably the drink that is most associated with Ireland. But you might be surprised to learn that I've actually never made one before. And not only that, but I don't think I've ever had an Irish coffee before. Now I know this might sound absolutely bizarre considering I am a big fan of coffee and I'm also a fan of a drop of whiskey if you haven't noticed, but shockingly, I've never had an Irish coffee whenever I'm out and about I just never think of ordering it. I order coffees, I order whiskeys, but I never mix the two together. So I don't really know why I haven't done this yet. I think one of the reasons behind this is because subconsciously I see an Irish coffee as a little bit of a touristy drink. It's something that so many visitors will get. It's almost like a rite of passage that you get an Irish coffee, regardless of what county you're visiting in Ireland. And much like with a lot of other amazing cocktails that I've now tried on this channel, I feel like an Irish coffee just kind of faded into the back of my mind and I just never ended up trying it. Now, I feel like this unnecessary prejudice against good coffee and good whiskey needs to be rectified so that is why today we are going to be making the classic Irish hot coffee. I have to say I actually have really high hopes about this one. I love an espresso martini. I absolutely adore a hot toddy. If you watched last week's video you will know that. So all of those things combined I feel like I'm onto a winner here. So as always I like to gather a little bit of information on the cocktails that I'm making here on this channel and actually the Irish coffee has a pretty interesting history. So before we get into the history of an Irish coffee and I show you how I make it at home for the first time, I would like to take a second to tell you about my Patreon. Not only is it a great way of supporting my channel, but you can also have access to exclusive content. You can join in my monthly Patreon live stream with my community, which is so much fun. And you can also see the footage that is just too tipsy for YouTube. So without rambling on too much, I'm gonna give you a little bit of history on the Irish coffee. <laughs> So unlike a lot of other cocktails out there that have a somewhat contested origin story and different people claiming that they made them, we know exactly where and when and under what circumstances the Irish coffee was invented. So the Irish coffee was invented in 1942 in Limerick, Ireland by a chef named Joe Sheridan. Now, Mr. Sheridan was working as a chef in an air base in Limerick and on one particularly cold, wet and miserable night, a whole fleet of passengers from a flight had to be diverted back to the airbase because of poor weather. So as the presumably disgruntled passengers disembarked from the airplane and were huddled back into the airport, Sheridan decided to whip them up something that would hopefully make them feel better. And the story goes that as the drink was being served out to the passengers, one of them exclaimed, sir, this is delicious. Is this a Brazilian coffee? And apparently Sheridan turned to him and said, no, this is an Irish coffee. And thus the Irish coffee was born. So naturally the Irish coffee became a staple drink in this airport, but it wasn't actually until 1952 that the drink was introduced to America by way of a travel writer. And it was introduced in a bar called the Buena Vista Club in San Francisco. And then the Irish coffee actually became really, really popular in San Francisco at that time. But obviously now it is famous the world over. Now I think you'll agree that that is a pretty good origin story for a cocktail. Now that you've gotten your history lesson on the Irish Irish coffee, let's get into the ingredients. Now, although some recipes call for different bourbons or whiskies to be used in an Irish coffee, of course, I am going to be using an Irish whiskey and I recommend that you do the same. Today, I'm gonna to be using Tullamore Dew. This is a beautiful Irish whiskey. Definitely try it if you have not already. It is gorgeous and I think it is going to be perfect for this drink. We are also going to be using some simple syrup. I actually have some cane sugar syrup here. I think this is gonna be extra sweet, but because this is a dessert cocktail, I think it should be fine. We are also gonna be using some fresh cream. So I picked up some fresh 
Irish cream, which I could whip up here. You can use squirty cream. I have like whipped cream in a can here, which I sometimes use for hot chocolates. But for this recipe, I think I'm gonna whip it fresh. This recipe also calls for grated nutmeg. Now I have some ground nutmeg here, so I'm hoping it's gonna do much the same. And then of course, the key ingredient for this drink is freshly brewed coffee. Now I actually have a coffee machine in the back here, so I'm going to brew up about 150 milliliters of fresh coffee. I'm probably gonna do that off camera because it's going to be quite loud. My coffee machine is not silent, but it gets the job done. So let me just go ahead and brew that now. All right, as you can hear, she is brewing away in the background. All right, so here I have my freshly brewed coffee. Oh, it smells amazing. Now that I've shown you the ingredients, let's get into actually making the drink. I have a hankering for a coffee right now, so this is perfect. So we're gonna start with 30 mils of our beautiful Irish whiskey. Stunning, let's pop that in the glass. So next up, we're gonna do 15 mils of simple syrup. This I know is very sweet, so I am just going to do a small bar spoon because I don't want this to be too sweet. There we go, that's perfect. Okay, so quickly before I add my hot coffee to my whiskey and simple syrup, I actually need to whip my cream and I want to do this quite quickly. So I'm just gonna pour it in and then start whipping. I have to say, I haven't whipped fresh cream in a while. Probably not wearing the right sleeves for it, but however, I have my whisk here, so let's give it a go. This is taking way longer than I thought. Come on, I want my whiskey. Okay, I'm making an executive decision. I'm abandoning the fresh cream because this is just not working. Okay, so let's pour our hot coffee over our whiskey. Beautiful, oh my God, that looks gorgeous. And I wanna leave a little bit of space at the top. Okay, this is a shake and let's do the moment of truth. Whoa, <laughs> oh, oh, it's falling over. Let's just fix that. <laughs> this is a bit chaotic, isn't it? I'm gonna get some ground nutmeg, sprinkle a little bit on top. Oh, that looks beautiful. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say it looks absolutely beautiful. Actually so excited to try this. And like I said, I have not tried an Irish coffee before. So if you will join me over on my cocktail drinking chair, let's have a taste of this and see if I'm an Irish coffee fan. Oh, okay, so in the time it took me to move over, my cream on top of my hot coffee is melting down the glass. So I'm just gonna give a little wipe. I have to say it looks beautiful. I love the texture of the cream on top. The nutmeg gives it a gorgeous little sprinkle of color. It looks beautiful, but let's see how it tastes. Cheers. Oh my God, how am I gonna drink this? Right. It's not what I expected, which is weird because it's such a simple drink. I don't know what I was expecting. Let me go in for another one. Oh, that is really nice. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Let me just try another bit. The cream on top is amazing. It's so fun to drink. I kind of thought that the whiskey might get lost in the coffee flavor and that you wouldn't really notice it, but it's definitely there. However, with this ratio of coffee to cream to whiskey, it is really, really well balanced, but you can really taste the whiskey, which is what I want. So we are now at the point in the video where I get to relax, enjoy my Irish coffee and answer some of your questions. These questions were sent in by members of my Patreon Patreon community. If you are interested in joining, I will leave the link in the description below. So I have a question here from Jim Holmes and Jim asks, are you still doing anything with fashion? If not, do you miss it? Well, Jim, I have to say that is quite an amusing question. Yes, I am very much still working in fashion. If any of you are interested in seeing all of the other things that I get up to and my fashion content, it is over on my Instagram. I'm very much still working in the industry. I absolutely love it. Um, this cocktail series, uh, like I've mentioned before, I started it during the pandemic when we were in like serious lockdown here in Ireland. And I'm so happy that it's grown legs. I mean, we are literally about to hit 100K. It blows my mind. So although I absolutely love making cocktails here on YouTube, my predominant work is still in the fashion industry. So if you wanna see what that's all about, head on over to my Instagram and you will see it all. So there you have it. That was my first experience making and trying the classic Irish coffee. Now I know this recipe does vary, so I would absolutely absolutely love to know how you make an Irish coffee. Do you have a particular way of doing it or a preference for a whiskey, a bourbon, whatever it is, let me know in the comments. I love hearing how you make your cocktails. If you liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more cocktail videos, I will link a playlist up here. I have so many other easy recipes you can try at home. And if you have not already, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next one. Cheers.